guys. A uh, little bit windy out here, so I apologize. But I found a fantastic place to crawl. Check this out. I mean, yeah, man, just look at that. I am definitely going to have to come here again. This is the Tramell Fossil Park here in Sharonville, Ohio. I'm going to try to get up on some ledges. Yeah. I'm pretty excited, man. I haven't found a good place like this in a really long time. So let's see what we can do here with the uh, SDX 10-2. And uh, see if we can uh, have a little bit of fun here. Yeah, man, let me get it set up. Uh, it's been a while since I've crawled, so uh, I forgot my little thumbstick thing here. So we're going to do the best we can. Let's just see if we can get up uh, this curb here. This truck is usually really good at stuff like this, so. There we go. All right, let's see what we can get in. So, let's go up the easy way right here. Let's see if I can get up on this ledge over here. Yes, I still have the click, I know. All right. So this is, uh, this is where this truck usually shines, so let's see if we can do a good job here. There we go. All right. Let's uh let's try some hard stuff first. I don't know if I'll be able to get this, but let's uh let's check it out. Might be too steep, but uh we're gonna try. grab Woo. <laughs> All right. If I can get my ass position correctly, I'll be okay. Ooh, 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 I might have just found it right there. Yep, I found it right there. Once I get around this corner, I should have it right there. Hell yeah. Okay, now the next step is going to be really tough because I got to go up that rock structure there. I don't know that I got the grip and the tires for this, but I'm going to try it. There we go. Okay, I'm getting better at the balance, guys. Takes a lot of practice, I'll be honest with you. And I did have to help it out just a little bit, but uh, hey, you know, like I said, I'm still learning. Let me see if I can go up over there, see how high I can get. I know the top part will get it, it's the gap right there. I don't have any skid plates or whatever down at the bottom to kind of help slide it, some, so I got to do a little bit of bouncing with it. There we go. 
And this is really not a bouncing crawler. You know, it's not a, a rock bouncer or nothing, but um, you still can, you still can uh, take it up. Now, look at these angles that I come up here. Now, granted, I fell a few times and everything else there, but uh, I had quite a bit of uh, success over here. Uh, I come up over there, come down over here. I couldn't get over on the side here like I wanted to because I wanted to get up on this section. But I ended up getting up and going up by the log and then making that big gap right there. That's, that's pretty cool. And of course up here, and I'm going to come over here now. I know it'll make it. I'm just having to do bouncing, which I don't. I didn't really design this crawler for that. So I know a few things that I need to do. Uh, one thing on the bottom there, I need, I don't really want any more clearance. I, I like how it's set up. What I really need is probably like a skid plate on the bottom or something to slide. Kind of help it slide on the rocks a little bit. Because right now this is what I have to do. And you know, again, it's not a, a, a rock bouncer, but you know, that will work. Okay, so let's see what else we can There we go. See if I can keep that line right there, I might be okay. But see how the ass just keeps wanting to slide down? It just keeps wanting to go in that groove. So I'm going to have no choice but to try to ride this rock here a little bit on the, on the edge. And see, that's going to cause me all kinds of problems, just like what it did right there. I'm almost in the same position I was in before. When I lost control of it. Now, that's a pretty good angle. Just to be quite honest with you, for this little guy here, that's a pretty good angle. Which I think is really helping me, but it's still very difficult on this type of terrain, so... Just gonna take it slow. See, you see if I can work my way up out of this. There we go. That's what I should have done to begin with, I think. I see how it wants to slide. If I can just keep it at that level. There we go. Now it's at the point where it's not so dangerous now. I'm gonna crawl. So bear with me here. For all my faults and all the things that I've done wrong with this, it's definitely a very good crawler, just the way it sits. Alright, see if I can get this side. There you go. Settle out. Alright, so that was a good fall. The other side over there is just probably too steep. I mean, I can't really expect it to do everything. I had a little bit of a fun time crawling here today. I hope you guys can tell that I had a blast. I'm not the greatest at crawling. This truck still does need a little bit of work, but uh, mainly like weight and stuff like that. But uh, it's it's not bad. I do have some weights to put on the tires. I, I I have not done that yet, so maybe we'll try that next time. See if that improves anything. And uh, yeah, I had a blast. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, help me out. Subscribe to the channel. I try to do these once a week and. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, if you got any comments or whatever on how to set up your SCX-10 2, let me know. Uh, I'm still fairly new at it, and obviously you can see I'm not the greatest. So uh, any advice you give me, I will definitely try to incorporate.